to the Northland. Um, today we're actually gonna we're gonna go back to work on these motors again. Um, I think when I did the winterization in the last video, I think I told you that I had replaced the fuel filters last year, and I got to thinking, I thought, oh, maybe that's not right. And so I looked, and it was actually was it last? I think it was at the spring of last year, if I remember correctly. Right, looking at my records, I can't remember. It was spring of last year or the fall actually I think it was the fall of the year before anyway no matter what I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and replace the fuel filters for the both of these um, let me spin you around show you what we got and we'll go from there so yeah I got these off of Amazon uh, this should be a direct replacement um, pretty simple really I'll show you what to do but there's two of them that come in the package and then for the bigger motor I bought I bought a couple of different things because I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to use. Um, in this box, there are actually four filters, these little paper filters. Um, I, I can take the housing apart, I'll show you, we can replace this. Or, what I may do is go with this guy, if I can get it out of the box. Uh, One-handed isn't working real well, there we go. So. I'm not sure if this is reusable or not. I I have to look. Um, I think this is a, just a rinse, whatever, uh, filter. You can replace it. But what I liked about this is even if I re put a paper filter in here, is you can actually see in there. You can actually tell if there's junk in there, right? The uh, And I'll show you before I take it apart, but the stop, the ones that come with the motor, or that I replaced, because was, they were direct replacements um, from Yamaha, um, you can't see through them. They're they're kind of like these ones where they're they're kind of a semi clear, but you can't tell if there's junk floating around in there. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I really like the thought of this, so I may go with this one. Here's where the filter is. Uh, it should be just taking this nut off, um, taking the clamps off the two hoses, take them off, and then this should come right off. Probably have to move some of this stuff around if I remember right to get it off of here. And I don't know. It looks pretty grody from out here so i don't know anyway uh we're gonna go ahead and replace that and i might be wrong i just now tried to unscrew this and if it unscrews it's really tight and i didn't want to break it so i'm going to put this in first and if i don't like the way it does or what it does the way it uh filters i will i'm going to keep the housing for that one so that i can put the paper filters in it if i need to this is a 12 millimeter. It seems like most of the things on here are 12 millimeter. And I believe this does unscrew. Um, let me show you what I got here. So this is the old one. And it's the same kind of filter. I thought it was paper, but I don't know. My memory isn't what it used to be. So um, I'm still going to go with this new one, though, because you can see in there better. So we're going to try this out. And... If uh, if it doesn't work, somebody somebody in the comments um, or not the comments, but in the reviews, said something about this leaking um, that it wasn't heat resistant. Um, but there was only one person that said that, so I don't know. Obviously, we're going to keep an eye on it. That wouldn't be good to have a fuel leak right there. Um, so again, we'll we'll check this out. And it, this should unscrew because the other one unscrewed. So. Um, I was just afraid of breaking it, but anyway, like I said, it's a, just a direct replacement. Um, the hoses, they just, you know, you just pinch the, the clamps together and they come right off. So, all right. Okay, so I want to caution you. Um, first of all, notice how long these are, so make sure you push them way up, okay? The other thing is that these clamps, you know, granted they're not the best, and maybe a uh, upgrade in clamp might be beneficial um so i would do that but i don't have one on me right now but i think what i'm going to do is when i'm out at the hardware store next time i'll get some hose clamps throw them in here and in the spring i'll replace them but for now um do not let this if you let this slide down that hose it'll go way down in there underneath the oil tank and it's hard to get out i ended up having to get a pair of long reach uh, needle nose pliers to get it back up and uh, so I'm just, I just don't want you to have to fight through the same things I did. 
All right, there we go. It's on. Um, hose clamps are on. Hopefully they won't leak. I'll check them in the spring. I'll write a little note for myself since we already uh, ran the gas out of this. Uh, and again, caution, do not crank these way down. You're dealing with plastic here, so um, you don't want to break anything. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy more. All right, now we're going to go on to back up a little bit the little guy that one should be even a little bit easier the same story here just these pinch clamps take those off one on each end and it should come right out and then um, like I said this the two of them came in the package so we'll put one on and we'll save the other one for next year all right so got the new one in like I said it's really not all that difficult uh, the hardest part is probably just getting enough room. Um, what I recommend is taking the back one off first, take the hose off, um, and then you might have, like mine has this little clamp around it to keep it in place, just undo that. Then the hose will come up and it make, makes it a little easier to work with. Um, be prepared, you will get battle scars, okay? Um, maybe this is why my hands and fingers don't work all that well anymore. Uh, we got an eagle. Flying right over the house. Well, almost over the house, but they have flown over the house many times before. In fact, <laughs> um, two years ago, I found a partial rabbit in my gutter. At least I th think it was a rabbit. And then last year, I found part of a squirrel up there. So, again, I think it, I think it was a squirrel. I hope it wasn't somebody's cat, but... He's making his way closer and closer. This is over pretty much over one of my neighbors. This is about two houses away, just to give it some perspective. Coming closer. I think, he, I think he's camera shy. Of course, I'm guessing it's a he. Could be a she. No matter what, they sure are beautiful. Nobody left their cat outside. He's obviously he, she. Obviously, it looks like they're looking for food. You know, I read once, I don't know if it's true or not. If, if you actually know, comment below. But, and I'm sorry it keeps going out of focus. It's because of this tree in the foreground. Oop. I, um, I heard that their eyesight is good enough that they could read the date on a quarter a mile away. Again, I don't know if that's true. Maybe it's just uh, an old um, wise tale or something. But anyway, I know we all know they have great eyesight, right? All right, that's good enough. All right, I hope you liked that short little video. Um, Make sure you tap that like and subscribe, even if you did not like the video. I'd really appreciate it. Um, also, comment below if you have a different, like, and I've never done these on a Johnson, Evinrude, Mercury, any of those. Let me know if yours is similar to this. Um, I can't imagine that any other uh, outboard manufacturers would make them a whole lot different. But, you know, I'm just kind of curious to know uh, what you have. Um, on a more uh, practical side of things, I guess, I would normally do this in the spring, uh, and I try to do this every year in the spring just in case you get some water in there or something. Um, the only reason I did them this now, this fall here, was because I realized after looking back in my records that it had been longer than a year since I had done that. So uh, I wanted to make the video on it, and I didn't want to forget again next spring. So, um, like I said, I try and do them in the spring every every year, once a year. Uh, in my opinion, made different from the maintenance schedule or the maintenance manual. I don't really, I, you know, I guess I could Google it, but I don't know what they call for uh, maintenance-wise. I said I just try and do it every every spring that way and they're cheap they're cheap they're easy to replace 
it's it doesn't take very long so to me just spending a few extra bucks in the spring is worth it so um, that's all I have I guess I'll, I'll stop here again hit that like and subscribe even if you did not like the video I'd really appreciate it tap the little bell at the bottom uh, right down there on the corner after you hit subscribe so I'll, you'll know when I upload a new video uh, and share it with somebody especially if they're a boat owner maybe they haven't changed their fuel filter in a while and they'll oh yeah I should probably do that so uh, I'd appreciate it if you send it to some somebody you know who owns a boat or might be even thinking about buying a boat uh, as just one more thing that may, they may need to think about before the purchase so all right I'll stop thank you for watching stay safe we'll see you in the next video